Hey guys, it's I, Pyron Arden here, doing Model Kit review of Bandai's Model Kit line of Petitris. This time featuring Fake Grand Orders or Toria Pendragon, aka Ultra Pendragon. We're going to go with the Engl uh, English translation saying, which I don't, I don't really care for too much about, aka King Arthur, aka the uh, face of the Fate franchise, probably, depending, debatable, depending on other people's uh, favorites uh, going on in the future. But this is a model kit line of Bandai's actually chibi model kits they brought out back in, I want to say 2020, 2019. Not too sure around the date line, but I know it's around there. At least I know for Saber here, this was released around 2020. Uh, this is a very nice, very, this is a very nice, very neat uh, chibi model kit that Bandai released. I enjoy it a little bit. It's a pretty nice, easy build. Um... Uh, it's got a decent amount of sticker sheets. Usually the sticker sheets are, as you can see here, for the crown right here. Uh, Excalibur right here. Uh, for the coat right here, all the white stuff right here are stickers. A little bit lined for there. Uh, there's a little bit more, too. I forget if the eyes were stickers. Uh, it has water decals on the chest part. Or either water decal or just regular clear stickers for the chest piece, as you'll see right here. For the torso piece right here. Uh, gold stickers for the skirts and whatnot. That overall stickers she for and chibi kit, not the worst. Actually, pretty nice. I was gonna paint, but usually chibi kits for me. I usually leave the stickers because they end up chibi kits. <sighs> You're gonna leave them most of the time. But I'm out of the way. Let's actually go do a more articulation review about this. The first things first. Uh, saber can uh let's go for the parts I can remove. So first things first, remove the crown right here. As the crown is removable, her little tiny crown that she wears. Let's put the uh, let's put her Higo or Hoge clip back. Let's hope not break it because I do not want Saber Alter to come and kill me. She already angers me. She's already angry at me when I'm playing Fake Grand Order. Take off the coat, cape, coat. I forget what this is called. Coat cape. That's pretty nice design wise. I think these are two parts right here. Yes, they are. These are two parts right there, as you can see right here. The top part, which is the fluffy part. I have no clue what this is. And then we have the regular blue coat. All the stickers right here. As you're probably going to be sick, stickers all the line. You have, sticker, you have sticker sheet right here for this. Stickers are all the white stuff right here for the puffy coat lines. Then we have Saber's head right here, as you can see right here. Uh, yeah, no, these were proton stickers. I'm seeing the Saber's face is like a multi-step face. Which I'm going to be, I'm going to be saying, Ben actually did a little bit better when it comes to most of these model kits, at least when it comes to humanoid figures, compared to other model kit lines. But let's go with articulation right here with Saber. Let's first take off the stand. Let's get her off the stand right there. Standing stays on the coat, but that's fine. So for head-wise, as most model kit heads, most of them can go the 360 right there. Even the chibi kits right here. Their hands are usually on ball joints, as you can see right here. As you can turn them around, we'll see on ball joints, it's pretty nice and easy. Got some stickers right there as well, as you can see right there. Uh, very line. Then we have the single joint. Uh, then we have a single joint, a single joint, eh, joint on the arm right there. Uh, as the left hand is basically all together, this thing does not move at all. But the right hand does move. Minus it's um, one single joint on the shoulder. It can move its hands, so it can spin around the sword, so it can do awesome attack moves. Uh, the joint, torso joint, that can swivel, so she can swivel around 360. That's basically in the swivel joint. Could slightly bend a little bit. Not too much, if I want to be honest. Come on, let's be clear about this. As you can, as you can see, she can bend a little bit on this i think this is on a ball joint the legs on the other hand are kind of stuck they can move left and right so so and so because of the combat skirt and whatnot but you can't move too much about that and when i was talking about this uh you can see right there these gold pieces right here they're all stickers and whatnot they're on single wine so when you're putting this be careful as you got to make sure these are uh made it's very very carefully when putting these as I, you can see right here, I did, I did try my best. There were some parts where I might have to move a little bit, but I'll probably do that later on. 
If, it, if not anything, I'll probably will paint this. But overall, it's a pretty nice uh, model kit. I enjoyed it. I think I start. I think I got these before I started getting into my other uh, fate stuff, like all my fake mother and whatnot. So I started these as my entry line to uh, fate franchise. Really do love them. Really do enjoy them. Pretty nice detailed, detailed design chibi kits. Really good at anime these. They got a bunch of more of them, or at least I think like six or eight more of these. The other ones are, or at least the ones that I know so far. It needs to look up regardless. Are Mash, Jolter, Okita, Musashi. Nero Caster and Gil Archer. I'm not too sure if there's anybody else. Oh, and Master Gurdiko, female master for a fin grand order. And that's pretty much it of the ones that I know. I have no clue Band Knights made more. I'm hoping they make more because let's be honest. Fin Grand Order has a whole lot of servants and they can make a moolah of money out of that. But this guy, uh, but say right here, cost me around I think 14 15 bucks when I went to one of the one of my anime stores a while back ago. I think it was like two, three years ago is when I went. Um, very nice detailed model kit. Very easy to build. And your fate, if, if you're a fan of Fate Grand Order, Fate Stay Night, and you need another to another chibi or toy to add to your collection, this one right here is a really good kit. I recommend it. Especially for beginners right here. If you've not dealt with model kits and whatnot, and you're afraid of getting any like, bigger model kits like high grades and whatnot, Saber Chibi right here is a good entry, entry to the line. And you'll and you'll love and enjoy it. The only thing I'll probably say to worry about are the stickers. As you gotta be careful when you're putting them on there. You gotta be very detailed. You want this all clean and whatnot. I know I took my time making sure those stickers, those gold stickers got on there perfectly nice. But either way, this is Pyrodin. Signing out, and I'll see you guys on the next one.